All right, this is unit two, lesson five, adding and subtracting like fractions. So our lesson essential question is, what happens when you add, subtract, multiply, and divide rational numbers? And throughout this lesson, we're gonna to learn to add rational numbers with common denominators and subtract rational numbers with common denominators. So when we're adding like fractions, we just add the numerator and the denominator stays the same, and then we can simplify if we need to. So to add fractions with like denominators, I add the numerators and write the sum over the denominator. So a over c plus b over c equals a plus b over c, where c can't be zero. So for example, two eighths plus three eighths is two plus three or five over eight. Like fractions are fractions with the same denominator. Example one, find each sum, write in simplest form. So I have seven tenths plus six tenths. So seven and six gives me 13. So I have 13 tenths or one and three tenths. For B, I have five eighths plus negative seven eighths. So five plus negative seven is negative two over eight, which reduces to negative one fourth. All right, so let's try it. I have five over six plus four over six. Well, five plus four is nine. So that gives me nine sixths or which can be reduced, I can divide both by three. So nine divided by three is three, six divided by three is two, which is three halves, or one and one half. One B is four sevenths plus a negative six sevenths. So four plus a negative six is negative two, so negative two sevenths. That one can't be reduced any further. For C, I have one fifth plus four fifths. Well, one plus four gives me five, so five fifths or one. In D, I have negative 5 eighths plus 11 eighths. Negative 5 plus 11 is positive 3, so I have 3 eighths, and that can't be reduced any further. Example 2, find 2 and 3 eighths plus 3 and 7 eighths, right in simplest form. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm dealing with mixed numbers, so I want to add the whole numbers first, then I want to add the fractions, then I want to reduce and add anything that I need to add. Okay, so for two and three eighths plus three and seven eighths, I'm gonna add two plus three, which gives me five. And then three eighths plus seven eighths, which gives me 10 eighths. Well, 10 eighths is an improper fraction that I can reduce to one over two eighths or one and a fourth. So five plus one gives me that six, so six and a fourth. Okay. Let's try it, two A, one and three fourths plus four and three fourths. Okay, so this is gonna give me one plus four, or five, and three fourths plus three fourths. Okay, so this gives me five and six fourths. Well, six fourths can be reduced to three halves equals five and three halves, which the three halves can be written as the same thing as one and one half. So this is, five plus one and a half or six and a half. Okay. For two B, I have three and two fifths plus eight and one fifth. So three plus eight and then two fifths plus one fifth. Okay, so three plus eight is 11. So I have 11 and then two fifths plus one fifth is three fifths. Three fifths can't be reduced, so I'm done. For C, I have negative two and three sevenths plus negative four and five sevenths. So I'm gonna add negative two plus negative four, which gives me negative six. And then I'm gonna add three sevenths plus five sevenths, which gives me eight sevenths. Eight sevenths can be reduced is one and one seventh. So I have negative six plus a negative one and one seventh, which equals negative seven and one seventh. Subtract like fractions. To subtract fractions with like denominators, subtract the numerators and write the difference over the denominator. So A over C minus B over C equals A minus B over C, where C can't be zero. So for example, four ninths minus three ninths is four minus three over nine or one ninth, okay? 
So if I look at a number line, I start at one point. So I started at four ninths. I went to four ninths from zero. Then I subtracted or I went backwards three ninths. The rule for subtracting fractions with like denominators is very similar to the rule for addition. So find three tenths minus nine tenths, right in simplest form. I subtract my numerators, three minus nine, which gives me negative six over 10 or negative three fifths. And then I simplify. Okay, let's try it. Find each difference, right in simplest form. Five over 15 minus 10 over 15. I'm just gonna subtract my numerators. So I'm gonna subtract five minus 10, which gives me negative five over 15, which can be reduced. I divide both by five, which gives me negative one over three. For B, I have three ninths minus four ninths. Three minus four gives me one, negative one over nine. For C, I have seven minus three. Seven minus three is four. My denominator stays the same of eight. This can be reduced to one half. All right, example four, evaluate x minus y when x equals three fifths and y equals negative four fifths. To subtract a negative number, add its additive inverse. Okay. So x minus y equals three fifths minus a negative four fifths. Negative and a negative right next to each other make a positive. So I have three fifths plus four fifths. They're like denominators, so they're like fractions. So I just add my numerators together. Three plus four gives me seven. 7 fifths or 1 and 2 fifths. Okay. I can evaluate each expression if a equals 3 eighths, b equals negative 5 eighths, and c equals 7 eighths. Okay. So a minus b, so I have 3 eighths minus negative 5 eighths. Negative, negative, make a positive. So I have three eighths plus five eighths. Three plus five equals eight. So I have eight over eight, which reduces to one. For four B, I have B minus C. So I have negative five eighths minus seven eighths. Okay, so negative five minus seven gives me negative 12 over eight. And this reduces to negative one, negative one and one half. For C is C minus A, so I have seven eighths minus three eighths. 7 minus 3 is 4, so 4 eighths, which reduces to 1 half. For example, 5, LaShawn has 5 and 1 eighths yards of ribbon to border scrapbook pages. If she uses 1 and 7 eighths yards on one page, how much ribbon is left? So I take 5 and an eighth minus 1 and 7 eighths. Since I know that one minus seven is gonna give me a negative number, I'm going to do, I'm gonna borrow basically like I would with normal subtraction. So I'm gonna borrow one from the five to make it a four and that becomes eight over eight or nine eighths. Okay. Then I subtract my whole numbers and I subtract my fractions and it gives me three and two eighths or three and a fourth when I simplify. The other way to actually do this is to change five and an eighth and one and seven eighths into improper fractions, subtract, and then change them back into mixed numbers. You can also plug them into a calculator. For five, the Daytona International Speedway is one of the longest tracks used in NASCAR races. It is two and two-fourths miles long. Richmond International Speedway is three-fourths mile long. How much longer is the Daytona Speedway than the Richmond Speedway? So I have two and two-fourths. I'm actually going to change this into a mixed number because I think that's an easier way to subtract. So four times two is eight plus two is 10. Ten fourths. And then I'm going to subtract.
subtract three fourths from that. 10 minus three is seven. So I'm left with seven fourths. And then I just need to change this back into a mixed number. Four goes into seven one time with three left over. And my denominator stays the same. So one and three fourths miles long. You can use the same rules for finding the distance on the number line between two fractions as you did for finding the distance between two integers. Find the distance between negative one, negative one seventh and five sevenths on a number line. Simplify if necessary. So here's negative one seventh and here's five sevenths. They're one, two, three, four, five, six spaces apart. So they're six parts away. The common denominator is seven. So I divide each unit between negative one and one into seven parts. I graph each fraction on the number line. I count the parts between the fractions and there are six between them. So the distance between negative one seventh and five sevenths on the number line is six parts or six sevenths units. You can also just add these two numbers together regardless of whether there's a negative sign or not. So one plus five gives you the six. So let's find the distance between each pair of points, simplify if necessary. So I have negative three fourths and negative one fourth. Okay, these are both negative. So if I were to start at negative three fourths and go to negative one fourth, there's two spaces between them. So negative two fourths, okay, but I can ignore the negative. It doesn't matter when I'm dealing with distance. So two fourths, equals one half. Okay. Between negative 7 twentieths and 9 twentieths, there are different signs, so I can just add them together to figure out the distance. 9 plus 7 gives me 16. So they're 16 twentieths apart. This does simplify. 16 and 20 can both be divided by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 5 fourths. And then C, negative 11 fifteenths and 2 fifteenths. Again, different signs, so I just add them together. So that's negative. But remember, I don't have to deal with the negative sign. So 13 fifteenths. So that trick works when you have different signs. It, if they have the same sign, you subtract them. Okay, 13 fifteenths. And that is the end of unit two, lesson five.